Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to learn a little bit about fragments. So this will be some XML, but it will also be a little bit of Kotlin. So let's get started. So I just created a new Android Studio project. I kind of, I just started with the basic activity here. It says, hello world. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and the first thing I like to do is go ahead and run it. So I just press that button up there or on my Mac I do control R and this should run the app in the emulator and there it is, okay, good. So I just need to be YouTube fragments. So this is what it's gonna be about. So what you wanna do is, what we're gonna do is every time somebody clicks on the floating action button there, we're gonna load a fragment up here. So this could be good, say you have five different screens. Um, you can have five tabs on the bottom, you could display different fragments up here. Um, there's a lot you can do with fragments. Um, they're, they're good for a lot of stuff, especially if you have multiple things on the screen, like all oh, the, the top section up here can be, uh, one, one, it can be one fragment and the bottom down here can be a separate fragment. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first thing we let's go ahead and I'm gonna, and I, and I use, I use there's text mode and there's design mode. And again, I have content main opened up, but there's text mode, which I really like, and I usually use it a lot. So that's probably what I'll use for most of this video, but there's the design view. So if you like select hello world and hit the delete key on your keyboard, uh, go back to text mode and it's gone. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and do this. Let's add, let's do a frame layout and we'll do 100. We'll do 200 DP, 200 DP. And there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete, um, that. So it should look exactly like, actually we need to add an ID. So one more time. Uh, ID and we'll call this frame layout. So this is what we're gonna mess with inside of, if we open it up, if we open up main activity. And there's a lot of code here we don't use. We'll clean it up in just a second. But first of all, so we have our XML layout. Let's go to design view and there it is. You can kind of see our box there. And just to make it kind of obvious, I'm gonna add a background color. So we'll do background and we'll do, we'll do, uh, and there's also a cool trick. If you actually type, you can type a color there or you can go over here and you can make it whatever color you want. Say you wanna make it pink or whatever. We'll make it a light pink. So there we go. It can be any color you want. And then design mode. So just to show you that, yeah, it really is a fragment there. Um, so let's go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna run it just cause I like running it often just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and it's like make incremental steps kind of like. So here we go. So we have, we have our frame layout there. We wanna show a certain design inside of that frame layout. So every time we hit the floating action button, it's gonna update that fragment. So the first thing we need to do is go and create, uh, let's go to main activity. So I'm, again, I'm in Android mode, app, Java, the top, the top folder there, main activity. And I'm gonna delete all of that because we don't need it. I'm gonna delete all of that because we don't need it. So that's what we've got so far. And let's see, let's do this. Let's do support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace. We'll fill it in just a second dot come. That doesn't work because it's not, it's complaining, but we want to replace something. So what does this take? You can do command P and you can see what goes inside of it. So just click inside of there and on Mac command P and you can see, oh, it takes a resource uh, ID. So we named that ID. What is it called? You can see up there it's called frame layout or we can go to text view and see it called frame layout there. So we're going to do, we're going to do um, r.id.frame layout. And then we need to give it a fragment or we need to pass it a fragment. So we'll call this, say we want to call, uh, we'll call this just our shopping fragment. So maybe you're, you're selling stuff online or you're selling stuff on this app. So we'll call this shop fragment. Now that doesn't exist yet, but we'll create that in just a second. Um, so let's go back into, let's go ahead and replace, let's just go ahead and go here. I'm going to do command N and start typing Kotlin, enter. We'll call this shopping uh, in fragment tab, press C, or you can just select it from there and click enter and that's all good. Okay. So now we need to extend something. This, this fragment right here is going to go right inside of there. It's not going to take up the whole screen. It's not going to be down here. It's just going to be where that pink is. So go main activity is looking good. It doesn't extend that, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this now. So let's do uh, extends, and, and, in, and in Java you might be used to extends, and then you know ASDF or whatever. But this in Kotlin you just go like that. So fra so shopping fragment or shopping fragment extends fragment, and we'll use the support version there. And there we go. Now we need we need to actually do something with it. So let's let's do let's go. 
Uh, let's go up a little bit. Actually, let's go down. Uh, we'll do it here. We'll do uh, control enter, start typing override, enter, and then start typing on create view, enter, and there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that line because we don't need it. And I'm gonna go back inside of here and do return inflator dot inflate. Then we need a, a we need a layout to go. So we'll call this layout r dot layout dot fragment shopping. And then we'll call we need to pass in container, I think, and then false. So right now we don't have a fragment called shopping for a fragment shopping. So let's do uh, option enter on a Mac and then enter enter and then it creates a new layout for us. So this one will let's be kind of simple. We'll just do text uh, text view wrap wrap and we'll call this um, text equals thanks for shopping. Okay cool now if we go down here into design mode you can see hey it, now we have the thanks for shopping text there. So this shopping this thanks for shopping is going to go inside of here inside of that pink layout. So we have shop uh, YouTube, uh, we have shop, thanks for shopping. So this is again, fragment shopping, and this is, we're gonna use it here. So this should, I think this should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And again, there's, you can do control R on Mac or, or you can use the button where my mouse is. So here's the app and it comes up and it says, thanks for shopping. So that's, so say we were, let's just go ahead and change something actually. Just to show that it takes up all of it, let's do this. Let's make this background color, um, let me think. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of the pink because we don't need that pink color there. So I'm gonna select it in here and do Command B on Mac and I'm gonna get go to the, the background color and I'm just gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna go up there and just do that. So we have that there. So if I were to view this in design mode, you can see, hey, it's just white now. So that's that's all cool, I guess. And if you go back to our emulator, you can see there's our fragment. But actually what I wanted to do is I only wanted it to show the fragment whenever you hit that floating action button. So let's go back to here. Actually, we need to go back to content main, or rather activity main, and we can see, hey, the floating action button here, which is that icon right there, again, command B to go to it. That's key, that's, uh, that floating action button has an ID of fab. So we can go into our, into our Kotlin, our main activity, and do, we can do this, we can do, uh, fab dot set on click set on click list I uh, can't type set on click list oops uh, then we'll just go ahead and do that there so every time we get that button which is going to be the button right there so that button right there get that button and whenever somebody clicks on it do this do what's ever inside of there so let's go ahead and do this let's move this line up into there I'm gonna go ahead and delete some extra lines there. So every time we get the floating action button and every time somebody clicks on it, we're gonna load the fragment. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it by pressing that button there or the command key, the keyboard, the keyboard shortcut for that. And we can see, so we don't see anything now, but when I click on this, we should see, yeah, it says thanks for shopping now. So I, so I mean for, for, I mean, for this, this has tons of use cases. Like you could have tabs on the bottom, you could have different buttons go inside of different, different buttons go inside of different places. You could have the top fragment up there to be something and a bottom fragment down there. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff with fragments and hopefully you learned something. This is only a little bit of Kotlin here, like some Kotlin there and some Kotlin there, but we're kind of saying, hey, so get our fragment manager and we want to do something. We want to replace the frame layout, which is, which is that, that we want to replace that frame layout with with the shopping fragment, which is right here. So all of this will go inside of that box right there, um, and we just this is kind of you know basic. Uh, this is this can be a little bit complicated, but this is a basic fragment. We'll get into fragments a whole a, a lot later. But hopefully you learned something and let's go back to here. Yeah, thanks for shopping. So if we go ahead and kill it, then if we were to run it again, we should see that, yeah, there's nothing up there. But as soon as we click the floating action button, boom, now it says thanks for shopping. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.